Hi, I'm here at IETF 89 in London with Stephen Farrell, one of the area directors for the security area of the IETF. So, Stephen, yeah. in Vancouver, we talked a lot about security and privacy and pervasive monitoring. Right. Uh, what's happened since that time? So since that time, we, so in Vancouver, we had a you know, large plenary session where we had some homes in the IETF kind of tradition that where we agreed that pervasive monitoring was an attack. But since then, what we did was we took that and wrote it down. And we got broader IETF consensus with the, the full IETF via the mailing list the way we normally do. Um, so that, that, that document is now about to be produced as a, a, what we call an RFC, so a request for comment. It's the main document kind of type we do. Um, and it says that we've agreed that this pervasive monitoring is an attack. And just like all the other security and privacy kind of threats we've got to think about, working groups in the IETF have to think about that. Cool. Now, right before this conference here, this meeting, there was the Strengthening the Internet or Strint workshop. What, right. How did that come about? So, because, you know, because it's not as simple as just making a statement, right? <laughs> so we have to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We can't uh, just publish the things and the internet's more secure? It doesn't make the world better, particularly. Oh, okay. no. So, yeah, but, you know, we had, um, after Vancouver, we chartered a new working group to look at uh, using TLS better in applications. TLS is the security protocol that underlies the web. What a lot of people call SSL, right. but it's really sure. called TLS. SSL yeah. or TLS, yeah. yeah. So, but it's used um, not just for the web, but also between mail servers and things like this. So we now have that working group up and running. They, they met here this week. Um, and they're chartered to, to, to redo our documentation to more modern kind of uh, standards and to make them easier to use also. Um, but again, that's like, you know, that's, that was only starting. Um, there was a, you know, a feeling, and it's a justified feeling, that there's more work to be done. We have to kind of think about it a bit more deeply. So the idea of this, this workshop that you mentioned, the strength workshop, was to get a bunch of people together from the IETF, but also from W3C. We had a guy um, from the IEEE also came along, um, and some researchers, um, in, in both in kind of cryptography and in traffic analysis, or kind of data minimization, as it's called. Um, to kind of further get into the detail of the techniques that we need to use um, to further uh, you know, improve the IETS protocols for how we deal with this threat and others. Great. So that was at the beginning of the week, and then what happened during this week itself? So, yeah, during the week, a lot of that, you know, we took a lot of the, so the Strint workshop had about 100 people. It was quite a large workshop for this kind of thing. Um, and we, you know, out of that workshop, we agreed certain things, and we brought those back here during the week. Um, so, for example, we're going to work on documenting the threat model a bit better. We're going to work on some underlying definitions that are, will be used by protocols. Um, so separately then in, uh, in the transport area, looking at TCP, which is the main kind of end-to-end -end protocol that underlies both TLS and then the web and so on, there was discussion of how to turn on better security for TCP. Um, similarly, in um, it, we, the domain name system, which is you know, which generally happens before you make a connection, to say on the web, when you yeah. when you type in the name and it turns into an IP address. Um, so the domain name system is you know a very important piece of infrastructure around the world, um, and it has security already. There's DNS security for for dealing with the integrity of the data. So that tells you if you have DNSSEC deployed, then you know you got the right answer. However, DNS didn't actually have any privacy mechanisms that were specifically built into it. Because back in you know twenty, year, in 20 days, years yeah. ago, we, yeah. we basically were um, assuming that this is public information, and therefore you don't need that. And that's, right. that was a fine thing to, to, to agree on. However, now I think we're considering that the information is public. But the fact that I'm accessing it right now may actually turn out to be sensitive. So the DNS uh, area, uh, the, the DNS operations working group, began a discussion, which is which will go on later as to how we can add better privacy features to the domain name system. Great, great. So now that all happened this week, what goes on next? Next is go and do the work. <laughs> <laughs> so for example, with the outcome of the DNS discussion was essentially that we have a reasonable understanding of the problem statement, but um, the, you know, the techniques that we can use to, to, to address this are pretty, pretty clear. But when you combine them and you're dealing with a worldwide deployed infrastructure as the DNS is, there's a lot more thought needed. We have to do some experimentation to see how will this interact with the deployed systems. People are using some of this information for, you know, let's say content delivery networks where they might need to know some of the information that some other people would consider sensitive. So there's a balancing act has to be figured out. So for example, in that case, there'll be a new mailing list. There'll be some discussions of how to take the work forward. Probably next time, maybe it'll have turned into a working group, or maybe it'll you know take a couple of more goes. So th Great. and that, that happened in a, in a number of areas, not just in, not just in the DNS. Good. So uh, if somebody wants to get more involved with helping make the internet more secure through the ITF, how would they do that? Uh, mailing lists, uh, usual answer. So we have a bunch of mailing lists. Um, there's the general kind of security area mailing list. Um, there's the IETF discussion list, and then IETF at IETF.org list. And then for this per pervasive monitoring topic, we have a special mailing list. It's called Pair Pass at IETF.org. Okay, sounds great. Well, thanks for your time, Stephen, and thanks for all the work you're doing uh, making the internet more secure. No problem. Thanks, Dan.